everybody christine here welcome to my channel if you are new hello today i'm excited as i have a parcel from van out and i always love something from van out i just wanted to show you how it comes it does come in this pink package so i'm just going to open it up okay it comes in a white box can i just say as well sorry if it seems a bit dark in here it's just outside is horrible it's been raining and dark so yeah it's not very nice i've got all my lights on Right, it says here, Van out, show your nails, shine your life. And then we have their website and Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, you know, all their socials. And then just there, we've got Open Me. So, yeah, I'm excited. Now, I do know what's in here. So, let me just move the box like that. Now, we always get this gorgeous bubble wrap that i absolutely love and inside ooh, i'm super excited now i'm just going to put that there <laughs> right let me just take it out of its wrapper because you don't want to be hearing that it comes in this gorgeous uh, pink box so let me just take it out right okay so we've got the gorgeous box that it comes in and these are the pink bottles and um, when we slide it open it comes like that now in the box it's just 15 mils and then six colors and then on the back it's uh cruelty free vegan free and then it's got all the ingredients and everything i'll just put that there so you can have a look if you need to okay and it tells you how long to put in the lamp and all the good stuff right okay so let me take them out of the box I love these bottles. These bottles are gorgeous. I love them. Right, so let me take them all out. Now, these are called Rainbow Candy and they are jelly gels and you get six in the collection. Now, they are numbered on the bottom. They start from 061 and they go up to 066. So let's have a look. Ooh so excited now as you know you all know well my followers will know i love jelly gels i love i just love them i think they're so gorgeous now these colors are absolutely oh out of this world so this one is called lightning pink 061 oh look at that look how bright that is oh, oh that is stunning gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and the next one is 062 and this is cocktail cherry oh that's a gorgeous red oh yeah these are going to look so nice oh absolutely gorgeous <laughs> they're all gorgeous uh, the next one is 063 and this is lemon water i like the names as well oh okay yeah it's like an orangey yellow yeah, see what that's going to look like when it's swatched. Gorgeous. <laughs> and then we have 064 Ice Lime. Oh, I know I'm going to love this one. Oh, yes. Look at that green. Absolutely stunning. Now, I normally swatch these pink ones, the pink bottles, on the little hearts. And I put them on the front. But the little hearts are white so i won't be doing that because i want to you know i want to see how jelly they are now this is 065 and this is caribbean c oh wow look at that Woo! look at that blue wow yeah that is gorgeous right okay and then the last one that we have is jelly margarita margarita is that mag 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 magneta <laughs> magenta <laughs> uh, and the last one is 066 and this is jelly i'm not sure <laughs> i'll let you read that word <laughs> right okay so oh look at that oh wow this is a purple oh my days these are so gorgeous oh that is beautiful absolutely beautiful i'm in a rush because i want to swatch them <laughs> 
I've got my swatch sticks ready. Now I've given them all a base coat with the Varnow base coat because I want to see, you know, I want to see what they, you know, what they really look like. So before I start, I just would like to say I am an ambassador for Varnow and I have got a discount code, which I should leave up on screen for you now. Um, so, yeah, please, please go and check out their site. The link will be in the description box, you know, get some money off and everything. And trust me, the, the, <laughs> these, these jelly gels, they're a must because they're absolutely stunning. So let's start with the first one. Now, I'm just going to show you one coat and then I shall do. What I might do, I don't think they're going to need two coats, you know. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. They go on so, so gorgeous. Wow. They're stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that colour. Beautiful. They really go on so, so smooth. Amazing. So that's that one. Stunning. Let's move on to the second one. Now this is this red. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I cannot believe how bright they are. Now, usually with jelly gels, you do have to put two coats on. But these, you do not need two coats. <laughs> wow. And I've hardly got anything on. I'm not even putting them on thick. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. We got a bit under there. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. The next one is this. Well, it looks like a yellowy orange. Oh, it is yellow. Oh, yeah. I cannot explain the texture of these jelly gels. I don't think I've ever had jelly gels like these ones. I mean, I've got loads, but these, they just glide on. So, so smooth. So this is the yellow. Look at that. Gorgeous. Next one is this blue. I think, oh, I was going to say this is my favourite, but you know what? I like them all. <laughs> so nice. And you can see I'm not putting it on thick. They're just gliding on. Gorgeous, might need a little bit more than that, but so, so nice. So that's the blue. They do level out nice as well. Van Owl's polishes are, are just amazing anyway. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Gorgeous blue. And, oh no, I missed this one out, didn't I? <laughs> I missed the green one out. Right, let's have a look. Oh, I really like this green as well. Oh, I like them all. I really do. I'm going to show you them all together. This one possibly might need two coats. This one's not as thick as the other ones. We'll see. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the green. And then the last one is the purple. I love this one. Oh, yeah, look at that. I haven't got anything like this. Even my jelly gels, the ones that I've got. I mean, I've recently bought the Nao Nail, Nail Nails ones. And, yeah, the colours the colors are so different. This is gorgeous. Stunning. That's the purple. Right, that's them all with one coat. I'm not going to give them another coat. They don't need another coat. The green possibly could do with another coat, but I'm not going to. So that's all the colours together. As you can see, absolutely stunning. And also, which I like about what I like about their bottles is you have the bit on top so you can put the colour in as well. So I'm just going to give them a top coat and then I'll show you what they look like. Right, here's all the colours together. 
stunning absolutely stunning i only give them one coat okay as you can see they're absolutely gorgeous i think this one possibly might need two coats but i, uh, I don't i don't know it's up to you it's up to your preference but how stunning and gorgeous are these colors i mean look at them just look at them i love them absolutely love them i think these are probably my favorite jelly gels that i've got actually well no it's just that they're different colors now i did give them all a top coat with the var now tempered top coat okay now i am going to do a little look so i'm just going to clear this up and we'll come back i'm using 3xl stiletto and these are from aliexpress i absolutely love these now what i've done i do like to just buff down here so it's not too thick when you're putting it on your nail and i'll give them a little bit of a shape because they need a bit of a shape at the bottom so they fit my nails now i'm going to give them all a base coat and then i'm going to put them in the lamp so they're out the lamp now now i just would like to say as well i did use the varnell base coat now i'm going to use all these colors here i'm not going to use the green so i'm going to use the yellow the purple the pink the blue and the red i'm only going to give them one coat because i don't think they need two coats and now i'm going to mat them with the varnell matte top coat so give them all a top coat now there's no color coming off these while i'm matte top coating them now if the color was coming off and it was getting into your brush it's always a good idea to put the matte top coat on a palette and you can use it like that you know if you don't want to wipe off the sticky layer but there's there's nothing coming off on this so that's why i'm not putting the matte on a palette and doing it that way so once you've matted them all you can put them in the lamp for i've been putting them in for two minutes the reason being is because my lamp's not very really good and yeah they need they need two minutes but usually if you had a good lamp you'd only need to stick them in for a minute but my lamps i'm still i'm still want a new lamp anyone that can hear <laughs> no i'm only joking i just need to get a new lamp basically so yeah pop these in for two minutes while they're in the lamp i just would like to say if you are new to my channel please like subscribe and press the notification bell give the video a thumbs up guys okay don't forget and please if you are new subscribe to my channel i love you all so much and i just would like to say thank you all to my new subscribers i see you all <laughs> and if you've got any comments leave them down in the comments and i'll always get back to you guys okay i'm much appreciated of you all and if you haven't entered my giveaway that will be linked in the description box too so please go and enter that that's what they look like when they come out of the lamp all nice matted now i'm only going to show you these two so i'm just going to put these two here and put the others away now what i'm going to do next i'm going to separate these now we're going to need a palette and we're going to need some black gel paint i will be using a magpie's black gel paint today okay so i'm going to put that on my palette i do actually love this 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 paint it's, yeah it's brilliant i've used it many many a times now i'm going to be using my all-time favorite the baddest liner brush and this is from glitter planet and we are going to dip it in the black and i'm going to put some on the palette there and just give it a nice probably a little bit more up and we are going to let me just move this here we're going to put a line all the way around the nail let me just show you you dip it in and go down so you don't want it all clogged up in one particular you know you don't want it all on the end if you just brush it down like this it will make your life much easier now i just love using this brush you use whatever brush you would like to use now the reason i've matted it is because it won't slide off then if i do it with shiny it will slide off i could do them with a tacky layer i sometimes do but because i'm showing you it takes me longer so i like to mat mat the nails they're all protected i'll go wrong as well i can just wipe it off so go all the way around the nail Now 
And don't worry, if, see if you can see a piece there where you've it's not quite right there. Just go round it again. Get some more black paint on and just go round. Like so. And then we want to do the other side. Now you always want to do it with a liner brush and not a thin brush. Because trust me, with a liner brush, it will make your life so much easier. <laughs> Go all the way around. I want it a bit thicker there. Just go all the way around until you're happy with it. I like to go around these bits here. I think I might do this bit a bit thicker here. Yeah. And then while that's in the lamp, I'm going to move on to the next one. Exactly the same again. Straight down the sides. It's very cold here at the minute. A lot of places is, have, have got snow. We haven't got snow yet, but it's really cold. So oh, all my gels are super cold. Even with the heating on, it's, yeah, it's cold. Very cold. Go around the sides. putting it a bit thicker at, at the bottom and a little bit thicker at the top I mean you can do it however you please to do it all the way round and down and then on this bit I'm just going round now I did snatch these nails at the sides because yeah I, I like them to be nice and fold and snatched <laughs> Down this side, all the way around, and then once you're happy, pop it in the lamp to cure. Right, and then once it's out the lamp, I want to do, I'm not really sure if I should do a rounded or a pointed. I think I'm going to do a rounded. So you want to make sure this is on the stand properly and I'm just going to get some more paint out for a start <laughs> right now don't worry if you go wrong you can wipe it off now I'm thinking probably about here so I'm going to do a little line here then I want it to be rounded so I'm going to sort out where it's going to go so and then I can mark it each side make my job a little bit easier I think we'll go there and then like I said mark it the other side and go about there yeah I think that'll be that'll be okay and then get my liner brush put some paint on it Okay, you can when you put it in the paint as well, you can turn it around. You really get some good good lot like the same amount. So then I'm gonna go here and then I'm just gonna go oh, down like so where I've marked it. Now don't worry if it's not perfect, because like I said, and then turn it around so you can see this side. So this side, you go from there and then down. You can add move the nail and then turn it around and you want to do this side see the mark so round it goes round 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 and that's where the mark is and don't worry we'll tidy up the line in a minute okay 
Okay, turn it back round, make sure that's where you want it. And now I'm just going to tidy up the line. My little brush, I'm just using this brush. I'm going to put some of this in here. This is just clean up. Swipe. And then I'm going to put it in there. And then I'm just going to wipe it on the paper towel. And then we're going to clean it up. here like so I think we can put a bit more just pop it in the lamp when you're when you're happy with it just gonna make sure it's nice and rounded now the trick is, is we've got to get the other ones the same as this one <laughs> that's the trick now I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. Make sure it's nice and straight before you mark it out because it will make your life a lot easier. Now I'm just going to make sure it's marked out because obviously I want them to be the same. I'm just going to pop that on there. And then get your little get a bit of paint on there and just mark it so you've got it the same. So we're going to go there. And we're going to go about there. And now I just want to do exactly the same with this one. Now, this is what we've got now. Now we are ready for our stickers. I'm going to turn them around because this is the way I like to do them. And I like my thumb. So my hands, I always like to, everyone does it different, but I like to put my fingers like this so I can see what I'm doing. And my thumb obviously is like this. You're not going to turn your thumb around so that's why i do that now i've got these stickers and they are so cute look at these i've had them for a while and i've been dying to use them and i'm going to use them in this set because they are so so cute i think these came from shein now i have got other ones that i possibly might use i've got those ones but yeah, no, I wasn't feeling those ones. Everyone's using them ones at the minute, so I thought no to those. And I'm not going to use them ones. I might possibly use some of these ones. So I'm going to get my tweezers. Sorry, I'm just cleaning, <laughs> cleaning them off. And with this one, I'm just going to put some stickers. I'm not sure to put. Yeah, I'm going to put the stickers here. You'll see why, because I'm gonna I think I'm gonna top coat these and have the bottoms matte. So yeah, you just want to pick out what stickers you want to use. Now this is a thumbnail, so I think we need a nice big oh yes. What about this one for the thumb? I think so. That one's cute. So we'll have that one. Now you just get your tweezers and gently get them up. Careful not to rip them. Oh yeah, these are so cute. So, so cute! And then you just want to put it where you want it to be. So this one I want in the middle. Gently press it down. I think that's in the middle. Or do I need it to go up a bit? Hold on, hold on. No, I think it's, no, I'll leave it there because I don't want to rip it get something to press it down with you can never find it things that you're looking for right and then i'm just going to press it down with this it doesn't matter if it's going over the side so just make sure it's all pressed down oh yeah this one's cute it's so cute okay so that's all firmly down i like i like now I'm going to do the other ones now I've put all the stickers on where I'd like them to go and I'm going to use the shiny tempered shiny now I'm just going to show you one now I only want to shine the ends and not and not the bottom so you want to be very careful just to do down here okay 
all the way down. So we've got to seal these stickers in. And I want this bit to be shiny. Right. All the way down. Try not to get it on the mat on this bit. You must seal the stickers in, otherwise they'll just come back up. Now I am going to get my brush and put some on here because I want to go around this bit just to make sure it's all sealed in. If you do get some on the mat, don't worry because you could just wipe it off. Make sure this bit here has got some shine on it. Go all the way round. And then as I've got some on there, I'm just going to wipe that off. And then you can just stick it in the lamp to cure once you're happy with it. Right, so they've been top coated and they look so cute. But you know me guys, I've got to put a little bit of bling on. So I've got my bling box and I think I'm just going to put some tiny little ones on. And they will be tiny ones where I think that they're needed. I'm using my gummy gel, which I always use because I absolutely love this. And I'm just going to put some gems on. So I've laid my gems out what I want. I'm just going to squeeze them out on here. Not do much. And I'm just going to place it wherever my gems are going. gem on and then I'm just going to cure I think we'll have one down here uh, this one here and then you just want to cure it 